Welcome back to lecture one, segment two, the second part of lecture one. Chemical reaction engineering. Chemical reaction engineering is at the heart of virtually every chemical process. Industries that draw heavily on chemical reaction engineering, CRE, are called CPI, Chemical Process Industries. Try to remember this nice abbreviation, CPI, Chemical Process Industries. Example of CPI. Can you help me really to recall some examples? Well, we have GPIC, right, where they manufacture methanol, they manufacture urea, ammonia, it's a CPI, it's a chemical process industry. And we have SABIC in Saudi Arabia, which consists of 20 companies and like Ibn Sina and Saab, Ibn Rushd and so on. We have Dow, that's a very famous company, a chemical process industry. DuPont, another important company in America, right? Shell, Chevron, Bobco, they are all examples of CPI. Let's look into this table, which uh, lists lots of CPIs, right? Chemical process industries, and see this is the top 10 chemical companies in the world, ranked by 2012 sales. And you see the BASF, that is a very known company based on Germany, but it has lots of branches in different parts of the world. They are the, they had the highest sales in 2012, 91 billion dollar, 95 sorry, 95.1 billion dollar. That's a lot, right? And they have few of them, and then you can see that Sabic is there as well, right? It's number five. Okay. Okay, let's go to. Saudi Arabia. Let's look at the top 10 chemical companies in Saudi Arabia ranked by 2012 sales. Again, of course, the first company is Sabic with a total sales of 50,407 million US dollar. That's a lot, right? Then comes Petro Rabakh, Tasnia, Saudi Kayan and so on okay areas of application of chemical reaction engineering so in addition to the more traditional areas of the manufacturing of chemicals and pharmaceuticals the chemical reaction engineering principles can also be applied in areas such as waste treatment microelectronics like intel for example right nanoparticles particles are very tiny and does very useful work like nanoparticles catalyst and so on nanopart nanoparticles nanotechnology in reactors and also the living systems actually your body is a cpi is a chemical process industry by itself where you can apply the principles of chemical reaction engineering and i'll urge you to look into this figure which tells you a lot about different CPIs and where you can apply chemical reaction engineering. Okay, what did they say by the end of this course? What the students said about this course? Well, I assure you that this course is a lovely course. You're going to enjoy it and I'm going to sh make sure that you enjoy it. I'm going to make sure that you learn a lot but you need to spend a quite good amount of time in reviewing and studying and practicing solving problems so it's gonna it's gonna be a tough course in terms of exerting effort you need to work hard with me that's why some students like this gentleman right he said at the end of the course hasta la vista doc i never want to see you again well, 
if you don't want to see me again, right, if you want to pass with a grade of A, you have to study hard. How much you should study this course? Well, let me give you an example. You will need to uh, uh, study for at least six hours per week for this course. At least, I'm saying. Okay, an example you should have a very clear plan. You should study one hour after each lecture. Okay, and you have lectures on Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So you better study at least one hour after, right after the lecture. Okay, um, do that. So uh, the examples again. Uh, go over the slides, uh, read the book, if not all of it, part of it. And also you need to spend at least three hours during the weekend to solve the suggested problems. Or plan B, you can work one and a half hour before each lecture. That means you're going to study on Monday and, and Wednesday, for instance. Okay. And that's one and a half hour. And then you'll need to spend also three hours during the weekend to solve the suggested problems. Whatever your plan is, you can have plan C, plan D, whatever. Okay. But make sure that you start today because if you do not start today or if you do not study enough for this course, just like any other course, I'm going to see you again, right? And that's what happened, right? I'll be back. You might be back, which I don't really wish that this will happen. I'm sure that you will learn a lot and you will perform very good. And here I'm not talking about grades because here we care about learning more than collecting grades. Okay. We have one of the best textbooks written in chemical reaction engineering. That is Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering, written, written by Fogler, Professor Fogler. And he has lots of resources. So you can, for example, log into this website here. And you see the different available resources. And you can see that it is divided according to the class info or to the objectives or to the <coughs> concepts and for example here you will find okay for the class information you will find some useful information for instance the author notes you can find it there tamam and you can find here extra things like the lecture summaries, the solution of selected problems, <clears throat> and so on. If you go to concept, you'll find also some very helpful resources. For instance, you'll find what is known as the computer modules. These are like kind of a kind of games, interactive computer modules like games. So you can download them, install them in your laptop or PC and start playing the games which are quizzes, questions. Well, make sure you do that. And many of the questions might really come from these computer modules. Okay, so this is how it looks like. This is the first one. And you have for every chapter, you have similar one. So with this, we reach the end of lecture one. I hope that you really enjoyed it and you learned a lot. I'll leave you now so, you, so that you go home and study for it. See you soon in lecture two.